How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time I got through Route 7 and ended up fighting a whole bunch of trainers. Except for this guy. He's just a little too scary for right now. And he, uh, I know he fights in either a triple or rotation battle. And that's just not something you want to deal with in a wedlock. You should try to avoid it whenever possible. Is there really not an item here? I'm too lazy to go into my, uh, <laughs> my... What is it, the dowsing machine or whatever? Anyway, I'm about ready to take on the Celestial Tower. Here is a look at my team. We got everyone all set at uh, pretty much 32 to 34. 35 is my current soft limit, so I don't really want to go any higher than that. So hopefully this will work out just fine. I did do a little bit of training off camera. Got Cardinal and Penguin up to... 33 and 32 respectively. I also took off the evil height that was on Chickadee after she evolved. Um, so now she's holding a miracle seed. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I think it's time to enter the Celestial Tower. Now, this music is totally Chrono Trigger music. I'm not gonna lie. It, it totally is the, what is it, the Guardia Forest theme. I think we all know this. Um, all right. I am going to use repels. The reason is, it's like a hundred percent chance of running into a Litwick if you're on like I think the second floor. While Litwick is great and everything, I do like the randomness of Nuzlocks and Wedlocks, so um, I'm gonna try give it a chance where it could at least maybe be an LGM, which would be cool. Those are the only two Pokemon I can run into here. Litwick would be a better choice. But I really like Elgium, and I, I like Psychic types anyway, so, you know, hmm. Hmm, don't know what is going on here. Let's see. Oh, probably going to use something. I do have Dig to counter, um, like Litwicks and stuff. I think Cardinal will be okay. I'm trying to think of what this person could even use. Probably a Sigilyph, actually. That could be pretty bad. But I bet you Cardinal could fight that. Oh, it's so tough. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just have to put some faith in Cardinal here. Indescribable energy is flowing to me. All right. Good for you. Three Pokemon. All right, Dorian, what do you got? Oh, you've got an Elgium, huh? Well, that is just fine. I could really go for one of those right about now. I don't know why. I just, I like them. They're a cool Pokemon. They look really neat. Kind of like a flying alien thing. Solosis, huh? Um, yeah, we can fight that with Cardinal. All right, let's go ahead and flame burst that thing. I might want to get rid of Grass Knot thinking about it, because it's a nice move, but it's just kind of weak at this point in the game. There's not a lot of... Oh, Sigilith, darn it. Okay, well, that's fine. I think Cardinal can two-hit KO a Sigilith, so hopefully that's the case. Tempted to yawn just in anticipation of that, but okay, yeah, he can. Ooh, Light Screen, though. That's not good. That's the one thing that prevents me from doing that. I think I might be able to pull it off. Maybe not. Yeah, I could. Okay, wonderful. Good job, Cardinal. The energy is escaping. Aw. Aw. Okay, well, that was fine and dandy. And all. Whoa. All right. Oh, wait. This girl here, she really likes Litwick. I remember there's someone in here who's, like, mildly crazy. <laughs> I know, what a way to put it, right? But it's true. So I think that might be her. Either that or she really likes cats. Oh, it's cats! That's right! Meow, meow, meow! This sign means have a battle with me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> How do I remember this stuff? I don't even know. Oh, she has a deerling. Oh, okay. That complicated things. Why are you meowing? Deers don't meow. Come on, you know this. Ooh, actually, this does present a very uh, dicey situation here. 
because I can't really switch out for Chickadee, otherwise I'm going to get a jump kick to the face. Deerling does not have any Grass-type moves until 32, I think. So Aqualavis isn't necessarily at risk of, um, like, Grass Knot or Horn Leech or something. He's at risk of getting Double Kick or Jump Kicked, which would be bad because Chickadee's weak to that, too. So although it seems obvious to switch, it really isn't that easy. Oh, man. Um, resist both Aqua Jet and Scald. I guess I'll go for Crunch. Aromatherapy? Sure, that's fine. I guess I could have switched after all. Oh well, looks like two hits from Crunch will be enough. And it's going for takedown and it misses! Hey, that's fine by me! That is fine. And a Gothita. This thing doesn't meow either, although I do have Crunch, so there's really no reason for me to switch. It's not even a Gotharita. Although I guess it doesn't evolve yet, so that's probably why. Embargo? Okay, that's fine. I'll deal with that. Not too big of a deal. Well, what on earth did I think she was going to use then? Thank you for having a battle with me. Okay, so why were you meowing? This is what I want to know. Meow, meow, meow. I'm copying the Pokemon I used to live with. <gasps> oh, that's so sad. She lost it in a Nuzlocke. Oh... Hyper Potion. Okay. Oh, this guy. This guy right here. When Pokemon trainers meet, what we do, of course, engage... Or what we do is, of course, engage in a Pokemon battle, don't we? Quite right, good sir. And what do you have? You have a Kidling thing. And Molga... Ah! Another thing I just really do not like seeing... And again, this isn't a safe switch out because it uses flying type attacks too. So I'm just gonna smack down. Oh, Electro Ball. This is not very good. Oh man, that's not good at all. Oh, and I wasn't quite strong enough to take it out. All right, well, we're gonna have to switch for Chickadee here. Hopefully Chickadee can take an Electro Ball, and hopefully this thing doesn't decide to use a Flying type Hyper Potion. <sighs> well, okay, I mean, at least it gives me that switch in, although I don't know for what. I do have Faint Attack. That's really good, just in case this thing tries to get all nasty with its double team. Okay, well, it didn't. And a Herdier. Um, yeah. I guess we'll leave Chickadee in. I'll have to deal with Intimidate, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna jump kick here. There we go. Oh, really? Okay, well, do yourself in then. Sure. See if I care. Oh, no, I'm pathetic. Oh, wow. No self confidence much? Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to... Oops, I think I used one of those. I need... Where is it? I think I'm going to sell those, like, irons and hit points up. They could be used, but they provide such a small difference that it really doesn't matter. Like, it's worth more money. If I wanted to EV train stuff... Oops, darn it. I used my milk. If I wanted to EV train stuff, I'd be better off just doing it that way. Um, let's see. And I don't even train when I'm doing this. Oh, I don't want to use this. I want to switch. I don't know what to what, though. We'll just have Quail and Ren kind of see what's up. Quail could use a little bit of experience here. All right, you. What do you got? Oh, you want to have a battle with me? All right, I have a strong Pokemon. Really now? All right, well, let's just see how strong of a Pokemon you have. Is that thing you're holding a Maraca thing? Or what is it? Like a, you know, the thing that you shake and it makes the noises. You know what I mean? And why is it that I keep running into this Swadley? Darn it. Not exactly what I want to have Quail out fighting. Thankfully, it isn't the Chickadee Aquilavis scare it was last time. So I should be able to switch out 
There's not much this Swaddling can do to Ren. So that's nice. String shot. Eh, big deal. Big deal. I don't really care. Okay, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, I guess X Scissor is a good idea. Oh, yeah. Test that thing out. So good. Quail 33. Nice. That's right. The Pokemon is no longer with me. This is such a sad tower to go through. Oh, my goodness. This is awful. I feel like such a villain. Ooh, TM61, Will-O-Wisp. That may have its uses. Let's face it, lowering attack by half, very handy in a pinch. Um, that might not be that shabby of an option for Cardinal. Although he has Yawn, and really I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather use Yawn. However, Payback is not a bad idea around here. There are a lot of psychic ghost types abound. And, uh... Mm. Ren, what do you got? Payback isn't going to hit for too much. I mean, really, I'd just be getting rid of, like, Iron Defense or Dig. Eh, I'll just leave it. It's fine. I think the only... I don't even know what I could come up against would be an issue. I'll probably find out when it's too late, though. Oh, well. Let's go up to the third floor. And this is totally Chrono Trigger music. You know it is. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these psychics. Maybe I should use Payback. Slap that on Quail and see what happens. Huh. Huh. Let's see. Actually, Chickadee's not too bad of an option. Just because she's really good at overpowering things. With return right now. Oh, goodness. Well. Man, I don't know. Well, I know that Aquilavis at least has Crunch. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, you're not even going to fight. Well, I need to fight them at some point. I will guess what you are. You are a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Oh, that's so smart. Bell. We got a Musharna. Oh, this thing is so tanky. Oh, man. It has so much hit points and defensive stats that that alone could make this a pain. Psybeam. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? What the heck that hit hard? What? All right, it's 38 special defense. So Chickadee would be able to take that much better. But whoa, that is way too strong. Oh my goodness, that is insane. Defense curl. That is not what I want you to do. All right, Chickadee. Um, I'm trying to think. I think actually return will do more unless I'm not fully maxed out with return because it has 102 power when it's maxed. Faint attack would be 120 power after uh, super effective. Return would be like 150 something. So we'll go with that. Oh my goodness, that did not hit very hard at all. Maybe I'll try Fain Attack. This thing is strong! Ugh! Okay, thank goodness it didn't use, like, a Hyper Potion or something, because I'd be really mad if that happened. Oh, man. All right, well, yeah, you guess what I was, but I didn't guess you'd be so tough. Shoot. Okay, let me go ahead and heal with, I don't know, some super potions or something. Ah, close enough. Man. Okay, let's see. Let's fight you. I still want to fight. Wandering spirits command me. Okay. 
Those poor wandering spirits. I'm going to have to get to the top here and ring a lot of bells. Litwick. That is perfect. <laughs> Time to extinguish this flame. All right, Aqualavis, go ahead and use some Scald. I'm using Scald over Aqua Jet just because I don't want to get burned with Flame Body. That could be... Really? 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 Oh, well, that's fine. Um, don't think that thing's going to have anything to <laughs> shut down any of my moves. All right, there we go. And a Swoobat. Holy smokes. Oh, that... That isn't fun. Oh, man. Okay, well, we'll send... We'll keep Aqualavis out. I guess I need some practice for Swoobat anyway. Let's go ahead and smack that thing down. Calm mine. No! No! Oh, man, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go for Aqua Jet here, just to outspeed that thing. Hopefully it'll do enough to knock it out. It might not. Alright, good. It did. Alright, whew. Man, those wandering spirits are crazy. Alright, let's see. Oh, good, a nurse. I could really talk to her right about now. Spell tag. How do you spell tag, huh? You're it. Never mind. Okay, let's see. I'm here to understand the end of the world, but I don't quite get it. If I have a battle, will I be enlightened? Oh yeah, I'm gonna end your world, pal. Oh yeah. All right, Bryce. He's got a duosion. Hmm. Hmm. That thing has a lot of special attack, if I recall correctly. Hopefully Crunch will take it out in one hit. Psy Shock. That's actually preferable to uh, Psy Beam at this point. Hit hard, but not that hard, because I have decent special defense. All right, I'm going for Aqua Jet, since that thing actually is faster. Duosion are not known for being very fast. Of course, neither are Tortugas, but oh well. The end. Is that it? It's the end for you, buddy. Okay, but there's still this nurse here. So if I think I have to fight her, and I'm thinking she might use a Musharna. I'm kind of nervous. Because it seems to me nurses like to use those at, those at this point in the game. But I think Aqualavis will be able to fight a Musharna. Alright, let's just go for it. You need a nurse's help? Sure, if you can win against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. Isn't that kind of, like, odd? It's like, oh, yeah, you know, I want to heal you, but I want you to prove that you're good enough for me to heal you first. Even if it means hurting you. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, and it looks like she doesn't have a Musharna. I think I might be thinking about the one in... Where is it? Um, Twist Mountain. It seems to me there's a nurse there. No, actually, it's a doctor. I think he might have one. I don't know. It's been a while. I'm doing this from memory. Alamomola. Okay, I was close. I remembered you having some big, gigantic pink thing. That sounded wrong. But, I mean, like, either a Musharna or an Alamomola or an Audino or something. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead and energy ball that thing. Nice. Oh, wake up slap! No! Okay, that that wasn't that bad. <laughs> Hyper potion, come on. Oh well, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I just want to be healed up here. Oh no, the future sight attack. I forgot about that. Okay. Wasn't that bad. Protect. Really? You're just I don't even know what you're trying to do. What's your game, Alamomola? I don't know. All right, whatever. Yay, Penguin 34. I think I might want to move that experience share, actually. <laughs> no, actually, I don't. 35 is fine. I just have to be careful. I don't want to overlevel her. 
All right, repel war off. I'm gonna repel one more time. Uh, oops, here it is. And then once I get up towards the top, I think that'll be a good spot to... Oh wait, there's still another trainer down here that I didn't fight, right? It seems to me I didn't fight you. Wait, where? You? Did I fight you? Who didn't I fight? You! I didn't fight this guy. Okay, well, we'll fight this guy then. All right, Mickey. He's got a yaw mask. No! Raven! All right, that's fine. Um, let's see. Actually, Crunch would be really nice right here. Ominous Wind. Just watch it get the boost. All right, it did. Fine by me, though. Oh, I think I'm not going to be able to knock it out with Aqua Jet. I think I have to crunch. <gasps> Whoa! Critical hit! Why? Okay, okay, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. We'll make it work. A goal it. Um, kind of nervous. This thing often packs, like, punch moves. So could hurt Chickadee, but I think Chickadee will be okay. I think she can energy ball this thing. Do a pretty good amount to it. And even knock it out in one hit. That's great news. It's a spark of your flaming spirit. Why, thank you. All right, let's see. Well, let's head on upstairs. Oh, right, the experience. No, I was going to leave the experience share on. That's right. Because at level 35, my ice cream cone evolves. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Ace trainers. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, Looks like there's only two of them, but that's still not very good. I'm going to have to fight at least one. Ooh. Ooh. I think if I want to use Ren and Quail? They could have anything at this point. Oh, I guess I'm going to go with Ren and Quail. Ren's really good with, like, general coverage. Oh, it just, it really depends on what they have. Celestial Tower means a perfect tower! Oh, never mind. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Yeah, there we go. Just cut right to the chase, why don't ya? Beckett, you've got... Oh, Stoutland! Oh, no! Oh, this is not good. Oh, man. That's a big dog versus a big bug. Ooh, I could Iron Defense. Not a bad idea, because this thing is going to be a beast to take out. I'm going to go ahead and Iron Defense. Heal if I need to, but this will make the fight much easier. Take that. All right, go ahead. That's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and X-Scissor that thing. At least it didn't intimidate me. Oh my goodness, that's so bulky. Oh yeah! Poison that dog! Good job, Ren. Alright, let's give it one more X-Scissor. That should be enough to put this dog down. There we go. No offense to anyone who just lost their dogs. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded kind of heartless. Okay, let's see. You're really perfect. Why, thanks. Aren't you a really great guy? Oh, man. Oh, I guess I don't need to heal. I can just go downstairs before I fight that next ace trainer. Revive. Too bad it doesn't work. All right, I'm going to go downstairs. Let's talk to this nurse lady. Hey, heal me up. Heal me up. There we go. All right, so Ren did pretty good. But what on earth does that girl have there? Oh, man. Well, Quail right now is not at level 34. <laughs> so I think we're going to use him. Pokemon that grew up in Unova and Pokemon that grew up elsewhere. Both rest here quietly. What? Pokemon from Kalos are buried here? No way! Oh, that's crazy. 
All right, she's got two Pokemon, this Cassandra. She's got a Swoobat. Actually, this is fine. I'm okay with this matchup. That's not perfect, but it's certainly better than sending out um, the other thing. Oh, no. Amnesia. All right, we're going to have fun with this. I've just got to outpace it with Charge Beam, I guess. Oh, actually, I can use Psy Shock. Really? Why do you have to dodge a 90% accurate attack? Okay, now... It's going to raise its special defense so high that this isn't going to matter. But what I'm hoping to do is raise my special attack really twice in a row. That's 70% chance twice in a row. This is awful. Um, this is really bad. Okay, if I can just raise my special attack, I can hit it with Psy Shock, which... You've got to be kidding me! I used Charge Beam... What? Three times in a row that hit, and I don't raise it once. Attract? Oh, this isn't good. Quail! No! What? Does this thing have, like, unaware or something? I didn't think it worked that way, but maybe it does. All right, one more try with Psy Shock. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Quail. Come on. Come on, we don't have time for this. Let's go ahead and use a Moo Moo Milk. Okay, let's go for Psy Shock. It's going to be resisted, but it calculates its damage based off of the foe's defense stat. Quail, don't do this now. Oh, no. Quail. Oh, this is so bad. So annoying. <gasps> Quail! Oh, no! Oh, you got to be kidding me. It flinched again. Okay, so this is the second item I'm using. Ah! Okay, I can only use one more item, so... This has been the most unlucky fight, I tell ya, in a long while. Quail! Oh my goodness, I can't switch out right now because it's using Air Slash. My only partner I can switch to would be Ren. There we go. Okay, Psy Shock. That's the stuff. Oh! Not quite enough. Go for it, Quail. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Okay, this is the final item I can use. Because I flinched like three times, I've been immobilized so many times, I didn't get a single special attack raise. This thing got a critical hit. This is crazy. No! Quail! Quail! Hang in there! There! Finally! This is the most annoying Swoobat in the world! Oh! Man! I'm so glad that thing is gone. Gotharita. I don't want to deal with this thing right now. Oh, but I have to, don't I? I'll bug bite it. That's what I'll do. Or X scissor. I guess I don't have bug bite anymore. So used to having bug bite. <laughs> uh. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. Should do enough to take it out. Yeah. That's Swoobat, though. That thing was insane. Sad thing is that actually reminds me of the Swoobat I used like way back in the very first wedlock I ever did on my Japanese black version. I didn't record it or anything, but I used the Swoobat in pretty much a similar manner. Just attract, air slash, slash heart stamp. Just make things flinch and be attracted. It's quite devious, actually. But it was so good. Okay, repel, war off. 
So I can actually catch something now, and up here there is a chance at getting Algium. I will, I will probably run into what is it, Litwick? Hmm. hmm. I don't want to do too much damage to knock it out. I think Energy Ball would work. I think I'll lead with Chickadee, then. Or I could run into an Elgium. I don't know. But whatever the case, I get my encounter now. Or I can go up here. Alright, my encounter for the Celestial Tower is... Litwick. Alright, let's see if I can get this Litwick. Okay, Litwick. Um, let's see, I don't think I... I guess I just have to use Energy Ball on it. Hope it won't be too much. Oh yeah, that, that's fine. Except now it lowered its special defense. So, can't really do anything more with that. Oh man, I kind of want to catch this thing in like a heal ball. That looked pretty cool. Right, let's try it. I need to get more of those. No! Alright, well, I didn't get it. Flame Burst. Not cool. Not cool, but it, it doesn't hurt too badly. So let's go ahead and catch this thing. I don't know if a Dusk Ball would work. Well, let's just use an Ultra Ball. It looks so ugly, but... Oh, well. I got plenty of them. There we go. Got me a Litwick. Cool. Alright, what on earth do I name her? Let's see. Candle Pokemon. Litwick shines a light that absorbs the life energy of people and Pokemon, which becomes the fuel that it burns. Whoa, that's interesting. <laughs> Pretty devious now. Alright, let me look up a nickname for it really quick. I will be right back. Alright, I think I'm going to name her Kestrel. It's a kind of cool bird. It's spelled like this. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, we'll go with that. Alright, Kestrel was transferred. Cool! So I caught Kestrel the candle. Alright, now, let's move along here. Whoops. Alright, getting away from this Litwick. Oh, Chickadee, run! Run, Chickadee! Okay, let's see. What else? I think this is the last floor, actually. So I think up here... Yep, there we go. Alright, wonderful. Wonderful. Well, this is it. Thankfully, I don't have to fight her. Oh, you came! Thank you! I was right. What I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry, though. It's fine now. I gave it a max revive, then it felt better and flew away. Cheater! Cheater! Hehe, <laughs> don't I have great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. Oh, that's right. Since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Yeah, I need to ring that bell right now. Nine deaths. Oh my goodness. I have to ring this once for each one of them. Will I ring the bell? Yes, I will. This is for Partridge. What a pretty sound. Awkward, you are a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skyla, the leader of Mistralton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying-type Pokemon. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Alright, great. I'm going to be here ringing this bell for the next few hours. Mourning the death of nine Pokemon. Oh, okay. So, we have Partridge. Now we have Blue Jay. Rest in peace, Blue Jay. Now, we ring the bell for Dove. Actually, I guess it was Flamingo. Yeah, Flamingo. I'll do Flamingo first. Now, we ring the bell for Dove. Hmm. 
Next, we ring the bell for poor Warbler. Barely got a shot at life, poor guy. Bless his soul. Oh, man. Now, let's see. Who came next? It was Grackle. Oh, no. Grackle and Raven. I think it was Raven, so this one's for Raven. This one's for Grackle. Grackle, no! Oh. All right, this one's for Chicken. And now, finally, we ring the bell for Swan. Oh man, that was a lot of ringing. <laughs> oh, so much death, it's just not right. Okay, I think in order to get out of here, I'm going to dig my way out, and I'm just going to dig on these stairs. What, I really can't use that here? Really? Do I have to be like down here? Oh, whoa, there's an item. How did I miss this? How do I get to it? Oh, there's an Elgium. Darn, I would have loved one of these. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, I got a candle. I really can't complain. It's definitely the more common of the two encounters, and actually the more useful of the two encounters. But it's, uh, you know, fire type, and I'm not really in urgent need of any fire types right now. Although I guess the next gem after this is the... Ooh, there we go. TM65, Shadow Claw. It'd be the ice type gem. Wow, already getting there, huh? Okay, can I dig now? Let me find out. I can't. You know, I'm actually kind of glad about that. It'd be really disrespectful. <laughs> I always thought that was weird anyway. Digging to get out of, you know, a graveyard. That's so rude. Now, I could have flown off the top of the tower if I had something with fly, a.k.a. swan. But I don't have such a thing right now, which is really a shame. Oh, well. Let me just get down here. So many encounters. Probably wouldn't actually hurt fighting them. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with where my levels are at right now. Looking pretty good. Oh, man! I'm just using a super repel. I don't even care, okay? I don't even care. Unless I find, like, a golden candle or something. Or what, what is Litwick when it's shiny? I think it's, like, gold? Or like a like a red kind of flame, red orangish flame, which would look really cool. Not gonna lie, if I run into a shiny uh shiny litwick. So using that instead. <laughs> yeah, activating shiny claws, which you know, if that happens, I would activate shiny claws. And I guess my interpretation of it would be if um if I've already caught a Pokemon at the area, then I can just like trade my next encounter somewhere for it. But otherwise, if it's, like, something I've already caught that's, you know, replaceable, like something I haven't used in my team, I can choose to replace it. It'll be a choice. It's so rare that if that happens, you know, it's kind of one of those things. i got to watch out for that guy. I'm not going to fall victim to him. No way. No how. All right, let's just move along here. Do you even do anything? Okay, you don't. <laughs> you just stand there. Well, I guess since I'm here, I might as well go ahead and check out that candle really quick before I wrap the episode up now that we've climbed the tower. Now that we're ready to take on the gym. I guess we're cleared for takeoff now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Adamant. Adamant? That's an awful nature. Well, at least for you, for Kestrel. Uh. Oh, well. Oh well, whatever, that's fine. 
that's fine. She'll still be very strong if she's a Chandelure. Anyway, I guess this is a good spot to wrap things up. So, I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Black Wedlock. See you next time, pilots. Woo!